This video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another Teams in 2020 FIFA 16 career mode video. And today, we will be taking a look at another English Premier League team. And this time, it's going to be Arsenal. Yes, the team that somehow ended up finishing second in this crazy Premier League season thanks to a 4-0 win against Aston Villa in the final day and thanks to some help from a little championship team called Newcastle United. And despite that, despite finishing higher than any of the other big clubs in England, Arsenal fans, the majority of them, would still probably let you know that this has been a disappointing season and that they're probably never going to win the Premier League under Arsene Wenger. It just sucks to be an Arsenal fan, doesn't it? But anyway, moving on, we will see if they do go on and win the Premier League in this little simulation that we do, and we will take a look at the Arsenal team in 2020. So here we go. So here they are, the Arsenal team in 2020. Let's take a look. Czech is 88 rated, getting better with age apparently. Koscielny's in the team, Gibbs starting at left back, Gabriel starting at centre back as well, and Chambers at right back, not Bellerin. That's crazy. Campbell at right mid, of course. Coquelin and Ramsey right there. Sanchez at 88 rating. Welbeck starting up front at 84, and Wilshere at 84 as well. Of course, as I said before, Bellerin not starting at right back. Only 82. Chambers is technically high, and Bellerin would he even be at Arsenal at this point? Would he have gone to Barcelona? We don't know. But the rest of the bench is right there, pretty decent. And then the rest of the team, of course, there as well. They've got a couple of decent goalkeepers in Chesney and Ospina. Martin, uh, Martins, I've got Macy, Debushi, Murdersacker, Jenkins there, Maitland Niles, Nabry, Iwobi, Rene Adelaide, Silva. They've got so many good young up and coming players. Toro and just a bunch of other great midfielders as well. This is absolutely insane. But you will notice that there is a real lack of striking and attackers. There's not that much on. In fact, if this was Ultimate Team, Arsenal would only have two gold-rated strikers. So the only decent striker that they have is, of course, uh, Welbeck, because Giroud, I think, is actually either retired or gone away. But still, that is the Arsenal team. It's still pretty similar to what they have right now, obviously. We don't bring in transfers in the series. That's not how it works. But some of the younger players I was hoping would develop they did, most of them, but not really to the level that I would have thought. They haven't exactly found their way into the starting 11, or at least most of them. There are still plenty of players that are very, very close. Don't get me wrong. Like, so and so many, of course. Maitland-Niles, Iwobi, and a bunch of others as well. But uh, still not at that level quite just yet. But Arsenal do have a lot of very good young up-and-coming players. Certainly, of course they do. But of course, there were some players that departed the club that we couldn't hang on to. One of them was Mesut Ozil, who ended up going to PSG right there. He's 89 rated with the elite technical attributes, the insane vision, of course. 31 years of age and 89 rated isn't bad, of course. He definitely would have been a player that I would have loved to have hanged on to, but for whatever reason, he's like, nah, I want out. And sometimes it just happens. You have to let them go. But the other one, Olivier Giroud, he's 83 rated at 33 years of age, would probably be second choice to Danny Welbeck, who seems to have really hit form at an 84 rating. It would be pretty decent. I'd imagine him to maybe like a Sturridge-esque sort of a level. But Olivier Giroud ended up going to Bayern Munich, which, you know what, I might be a little bit crazy when I say this, but for some weird reason, I can totally see Olivier Giroud at Bayern. I have no idea why. I don't think he'd be a superstar, but he'd be that, it's it's just that tall target man striker that Bayern just seemed to utilize so well. But the real question that Arsenal fans want to know is, have they won the league since, of course, getting to 2020? Well, this season maybe didn't go in the way that Arsenal fans probably would have hoped. Spurs won the title by five points. Oh, what a disaster. I know, right? Spurs finishing above Arsenal, that's just not realistic. But anyway, I will tell you this though, we did win the league title twice, actually. So two-time Premier League champions, Finally, Arsenal were able to get it done. They also won probably another FA Cup. I imagine that is what that is anyway. And uh, yeah, so they ended up winning the league not only once, but twice in five years. Not bad at all, Arsenal fans. So if that's the way it goes, then congrats. But that is going to do it for another 2020 video, guys. This time with Arsenal. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below any other teams that you would like me to do this series with, of course. And let me know who you think Arsenal might be signing in the next five or so seasons to the lead up to the 2020 season. Until next time, guys, my name's Mars Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.